name's Stuart Forster. I'm a travel journalist. I'm the blogger behind Go Eat Do and a professional photographer. And today I'd like to introduce 11 things to do when you're in Nova Scotia. One thing that I absolutely loved when I was in Nova Scotia was to go whale watching. It's something I'd really recommend that you do when you're there because you can see whales throughout the summertime, including humpbacks, right whales and minke whales. I already enjoyed waking up early when I was in Halifax and walking down to the Halifax waterfront while it was still quite quiet and watching the sunrise over George's Island. George's Island is a national historic site and it's the location of Fort Charlotte and that reopened to the public in 2020. And once you're down there, you can visit the nearby Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21 and stroll along to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. North America's oldest saltwater ferry route crosses between Halifax and Dartmouth on the other side of Halifax Harbour. You can ride that and it gives you really good views of the Halifax skyline. So if you're into that kind of thing, give it a go. Lobsters play an important role in the economic life of Nova Scotia. And you can learn about the life cycle at the Pictou lobster hatcheries. I found it fascinating to learn that females carry between eight to 10,000 eggs on the body and they can live up to 100 years. Normally it takes about six to eight years before an adult lobster is large enough to be caught and then, of course, eaten. Lobster rolls are one of the culinary specialities of Maritime Canada. And I think when you're in Nova Scotia, if you try the lobster rolls in various different restaurants, you'll see just how different they can be. Why buy a souvenir when you can make one? I made this lobster claw shaped bottle opener with Franz Freitzel at Boulier's Point. He's got a studio there. He's an artist who works recycled metals. I thought it was great to spend time with him, beat this into shape, chat and learn about the cultural life in Nova Scotia. I absolutely love road trips because they give me the freedom to stop where I want, when I want, to photograph and explore places. And Nova Scotia has got some really good scenic drives. The Cabot Trail is regarded as one of the best scenic drives in all of Canada. I really, really like the Lighthouse route, which is just gorgeous, great to view the coastline and lovely to stop and photograph the lighthouses. Reenactors bring Nova Scotia's heritage to life at several museums across the province, including Sherbrooke Village, where 25 late 19th century and early 20th century original houses stand, and the actors don period costumes in order to convey what life was like back then. Kedjim Kujik National Park and National Historic Site has got petroglyphs and a wealth of bird and animal life that can be seen during canoe tours. Staying overnight in the park gives an opportunity to see the night sky. It's a dark sky preserve there. Nova Scotia's got some cracking beaches. It's got 7,400 kilometers of coastline. And one of the things that I really enjoyed doing when I was there was kicking off my shoes and walking in the soft sand down by the coast 
and photographing on the beaches. Rose was a fishing schooner and racing vessel that was launched in 1921 in Lunenburg. It won the International Fisherman's Trophy, achieving international renown and retained the trophy into the 1930s. 21 marks the centenary of the launch of the original Blue Nose and the story of the ship is told at the Fisheries Museum of the Atlantic. Its successor, the Blue Nose 2, was launched in the 1960s and will be touring ports around Nova Scotia throughout the year. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great time if you decide to go to Nova Scotia. You can get many more ideas on goitdo.com and also novascotia.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.